Hello everyone, this is the Lim Sejika of SwazProject.com. You're welcome to this tutorial video where I'll be showing you how to get uh, to do keyword research for Amazon affiliate marketing and how to get bulk keyword ideas. So if you're new to this channel, please do well to subscribe, like and hit the notification bell so I get notified subsequently when I do videos that has to do with Amazon affiliate marketing or other ideas that borders on making money online. So without further ado, let's get started with the process. Okay, like I've said, uh, this information is a premium one, but this is just one of the extra videos I give to my students on Amazon affiliate marketing. But I'm just making this one to everyone in my YouTube channel because I just want to give value for those that are not on the premium course. So what this one, the strategy I'll be, the format I'll be using for this keyword research is called the KGR. That's the keyword coding ratio. Those in my, my students, they know of the KGR. But if you're in this channel and you're hearing KGR for the first time, KGR is just a means of getting keywords that are less targeted or that doesn't have content on them. So this one is another way of a uh, keyword research that helps you dominate your niche. Like I said, this, uh, there are principles to KGR. KGR has a simple formula of all in title over search volume. Uh, I will not detail, I will not talk much about that here. You can search Google or you can read about them online. But just a matter of, I will show you how to get your title and how to get the search volume. My students, they know all this already. And that's why I have the KG arrow should not be more than 0 0.3. So once I divide the all title and to the search volume, it shouldn't be more than 3. That is just what the principle of working with the KG arrow. So let me just get started with the process. It will be a quick one and a quick video. See you then. Okay, um, coming to this point, the tools I'll be needing to get this KGR uh, done, that's this uh, keyword research done, the first tool I'll be needing is to head on to Keyword Golden Chef. I'll go ahead up to Keyword Golden Chef and sign up an account with Keyword Golden Chef. Keyword Golden Chef is just simply uh, if you look at my bar here you see keyword golden chef like keyword you know then chef c h e f dot com that just this uh, website there you go and sign up once you sign up they will give you a thousand credit and this thousand credit for uh, free users you can use this uh, thousand credit to do your keyword research to a length but if you want to get the premium i will keep the link in the description of this video where you can sign up use the keyword chef and if you can buy the credits you buy but this account i'm using for this is a free account but please do where to buy it will give you lots of value so the like i've said the first two here is the keyword chef so once i've gotten the keyword chef the next thing i will do is to head over to amazon and i will just go to my amazon.com my amazon.com i will be using okay on uh, my amazon.com then i will come to the department generally and i will pick the product i want to do my research on but before why we we'll continue please still remember the formula for kgr it is the all in title divided by the search volume so once i'm at all departments i will scroll down to like for my students i've been using the kitchen i've been using the kitchen niche to teach them so i'll still do this video because i will be giving the i will also be give, uh, sharing this video with them on uh, that platform as well so coming to let me just use a bakeware i want to do a keyword research on bakeware okay uh, what do i do let me go to bakeware should i go to okay let me go to bakers and casseroles okay this is just ideally how i pick my products once i uh, i pick any products I want to do my keyword research on. Okay, let's go. Uh, we are picking casseroles. We want to pick casseroles. We want to do keyword research on casseroles. Maybe I want to write on casseroles and I want to review uh, uh, casseroles as a product. So what I'll just do is, like I've told you, casseroles is a product on the kitchen niche. You can see casseroles here. They have different casseroles. This one you're seeing here, they are casseroles. This one is casseroles and there are more of them down. So, 
if I pick casseroles as a product I want to review. So I will just come to keyword golden chef and type in you see uh, discover under this place you see white card this one uh, i will do a special tutorial on how to go around the keyword golden chair for this one i want to get a keyword idea so what i'll just do is like i've told you for affiliate uh, amazon affiliate marketing if you want to write your money articles that's your review articles the best the word you use there is best so once i've come to best and i come to this other side i will just type casserole I will simply type, type casserole. So with this casserole, I will get bulk of keyword ideas. Remember this video is about how to do the keyword research and how to get bulk ideas. So I have typed casseroles on the keyword golden chef. I will just simply hit that search. But if you want to do keyword research that has to do with, uh, maybe you want to talk, uh, write about information articles, my students will know what I'm talking about. And you as well, you might know what I'm talking about. So if I want to talk about uh, getting keyword ideas, I can come to how to and all that but for now i want to write an uh, a, a money article that's a product article so i will just come here and uh, type casseroles then i will just okay let me make it casseroles dish because casserole is just the name of the like say food but the dish is what they use in preparing it so i will hit that search this one will give me bulk keywords i will have tons of keywords to write on so once i'm here you can see sample keywords you have best ceramic casserole dish best ham casserole dish. these ones are just keyword ideas but what i will do is i will go to my filter you see the only thing this keyword will cost me is out of this 1000 credits it will only cost me 99 credits so that's why i will encourage you to get the keyword chef and if you can uh, buy their credits please do so it will help you so once i've come to this point i know this one is just 99 uh, credits it will give me but i don't want all that so what i will just do is i will remove some of them i will remove some of them the terms i know that i don't need on this search. i want to target the global market so australia wouldn't be i wouldn't be targeting australia uh, australia i wouldn't be talking about um but, uh, okay, all the other information here might be necessary for me. So I will just, but anytime I know that is not needed here, like this, uh, this LA, I don't think I need it. I have glass, I have iron, I have cast iron. So I've filtered what I think I want about casseroles. So the keyword has reduced to 95. So any of the terms you know that is here that is not relevant for you, or maybe you don't want to write about them, you can just click on them, they will just reduce. Like if I say shallow, shallow has about three you see it has reduced the credit as well so it will help me save credit so once i've done all this what i'll just do next is i can still look uh use these ones to search my keyword but I, I don't want to go there now so once i say get keywords it will generate these keywords for me so from there i will get bulk keyword ideas so see what is uh, see what is remaining now it is just remaining about 908 so i still have enough uh, uh credit to do other keyword research so see keyword ideas i'm getting here best casserole dish has an average size volume of 1000 so like when i was doing the video uh, um, a video that came before this one you discover that when i was using you best suggest but in terms of suggestion you see they will cover so seeing the keyword volume was being an issue and for you to go for keyword everywhere keyword everywhere is also a premium tool that you can pay but it does it will not give you much as what keyword chef will give you so i still have best casserole dish uh, best casserole dish with lead see the search volume is 210 like i told you the formula for keyword goes in ratio it is all entitled over search volume but know that the search volume shouldn't be over 300 uh, then we come back here again then we'll check out for keywords that does not have up to 300 best casserole dish with lead is about 210 lasgana casserole dish is 40 chicken casserole dish is 40 see book of keywords all these things you're seeing here are different keywords you can write and target you see bulk of keywords and it goes down and down and down and down all these things you're seeing are keywords so what you just do is let me i will from this place you can get as much as 10 20 keywords so once you're able to get 20, uh, 20 keywords you have dominated your niche like you can guide 20 articles on just a uh, casserole dish you can believe me that you have dominated that niche so coming to this one I want to go for best casserole dish uh, uh, casserole dish with lead 
then I will just check the SAP, uh, the SAP here and see who and who is right uh, ranking for this keyword. Are they keywords I can target? Okay, like this person here, the best casserole dish to delight dinner guests. So this one is not targeting this keyword exactly. Like I have the other one is not targeting that keyword exactly, but it's a big website. It's broad. It is a big website and it has a total word of 3,330. So this one, I, this one, is fair for me but this way because this person is not targeting this exact keyword this one best casserole dish is also from food network is a big uh, website but they also have a word count of one uh, 1270 so it's there is also a chance for me there i come best casserole dish for most comfortable meals so these ones are not actually targeting this but how let me check how am i sure that nobody is actually going for this keyword so i will just copy this keyword now okay i will just simply Remember the search volume is 210, which fits in the uh, which fits the first condition for using uh, Q, uh, using the KGR. So I'll just simply hit at this. Once I hit at it, it will take me to Google. And once it takes me to Google, I will see. Okay, what you see here on this app is the same thing you see when you come to google so like i'm in google now so you still see food network and they just interchange here but they are just talking about the same thing let's remember like this place say show volume so you can see this one is giving me a search volume of 270 why keyword chef is telling me it's 210 so if i'm working with this they are still within range nobody has the ultimate uh, has the ultimate score but it's just within the range 210 to 270 but i'll be doing my keyword coding ratio using 210 and i swear try out using 260 let's see if it will fall within the kg arrow if both of them falls then that means this is a perfect keyword for me so what i'll just do next is i have gotten the volume so i will just i will come back to this point and i will come to this keyword best casserole di uh, dish with lead and i will go to the fr uh, before the first letter i will type my all in title without spacing you can see all in title all in title without spacing and i put my colon i'll put my colon best casserole dish with lead all in title without spacing i will just put my colon and i will hit that search then that will give me the result ah the result is huge so it's not an easy one to go for so you can see it here the re uh, the result is huge so that means this keyword is not good for me then i'll go to another one i'll pick another keyword i have best last ghana casserole dish this one has a search volume of 40 remember that the search volume shouldn't go above 250 that one has a search volume of 40 so best last ghana casserole dish best last ghana casserole dish i have typed you know we know the search volume already so no need showing you the search volume here we know the search volume so the only thing i will just do here is come to my uh and enter my all in title just you type all in title without spacing anything then you put the colon once you put the colon and hit that search it will this one is giving me a, a result of two so only two pages has written something about best last ghana casserole dish you see every other thing you see here are youtube videos so once you get a good content you will rank okay see the only person here now is pinterest the second one is pinterest so this keyword is a virgin keyword for you to hit at so so this one is good enough for you to hit at so how am i sure that this one satisfy the uh, the a keyword coding ratio so i will just simply draw my calculator here this one gives you a keyword once you can write this and you target it very well i bet you within a week or two you're on the first page of google let's remember the formula again it is all entitled uh, results like i just showed you the all entitled results for this is two and the search volume is 40 so let's do the calculation here let's do the calculation here the all entitled results which is what we just did look at it the all entitled results here is two and the search volume remember the search volume the search volume here is 40 so i'll do the calculation and see if it meets 
the condition. So I will just 2 divided 40, which is the 2 uh, all entitled results divided by the search volume, which is 40. So if I say 2 divided uh, all entitled results is this 2 you see here divided by this search volume you see here. Where is the search volume? 40. So once I do that, 2 divided by 40 will give me 0 0.05. I will check if this 0 0.05 satisfies the uh, keyword coding ratio rule, which states that the, key, uh, the all entitled results divided by the search volume of 40 shouldn't be above uh, 0 0.3. So I now go back to this and I will see uh, all entitled divided by search volume. You see, it shouldn't be more than 0 0.3. But the one we have here, the one we have here is 0 0.05. So this certifies the keyword. So this is a guarantee that this keyword is a keyword to hit us. So there is no competition like we have seen when I did the other entire. So I told you just two Pinterest pages that are ranking for it. So once I write, I will attract them. That is just how simple it is. So this keyword, uh, the keyword chef has given me the idea to dominate this niche if i can just leverage by i will just i will not stop at that i will do the all entitled for these other ones and anyone that satisfies the the keyword coding ratio i will hit at it so that is just how simple we can do the uh, keyword research for an amazon affiliate website but there are other methods too like i have shown to some persons but this one is just an extra i just discovered that this one works and i say let me just add it up so instead of you struggling with installing uh, the extension you can just stay on this and use it to do your keyword research so that's it about this so uh, however if you're coming to this channel for the first time please do it to subscribe to this channel you can like this video hit the not notification bell as well so I get notified subsequently when we do video that has to do with Amazon affiliate marketing or other ideas that others are making money online. So that's be it. See you next time.